Good morning, everyone. Thanks for uh, for being here this morning for this uh, very, very, very special and exciting event. Um, once more, I'd like to thank everyone here for this uh, for being here for this exciting day. Um, this is an exciting day, not only for Brisbane Airport, not only for Queensland, for for all of Australia and China. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge the Turbal people, the traditional owners on the, of the land on which we operate Brisbane Airport, and I extend my uh, respect to their elders past, present and emerging. And I would like to acknowledge all the special guests joining here today. First, the Honourable Sterling Hinchcliffe, the Minister for Tourism, Innovation and Sport. Um, we couldn't have done this without them. Um, Dr. Ruan Zongze, Consul General of the People's Republic of China in Brisbane, and a good friend. <laughs> Mr. John Han, um, the Deputy General Manager for China, Eastern Oceania. John was instrumental in making this happen, and thanks for all everything you did, John. Um, I saw a big smile on your face when the aircraft arrived, well done. Um, Patricia O'Callaghan, um, the CEO for Tourism and Events Queensland my partner in crime when we went up to China Eastern and negotiate with them. Um, and of course, all our regional tourism, tourism organization partners, Anthony Ryan, the CEO of Brisbane Economic Development Agency, Rachel Hancock of Experience, uh, Experience Gold Coast, and all the others that were helpful, instrumental and supportive of getting the China Eastern flights back to Brisbane. Um, and that includes, I saw many Gil here, many well done, thank you. It includes my own team, Vicky, Ben, um, Ryan, a great job for all of you here involved. We were actually talking a little bit about how long ago it was that China Eastern operated to Brisbane Airport, or in other words, how long they were not operating. And to be very precise, that's three years, eight months and 21 days since they last touched down in Queensland from China. That's an awful long time ago, and therefore it's so exciting for all of us that China Eastern Airlines is back. That long pause is now over. Today's flight will be China Eastern's first flight back at Brisbane Airport since the 10th of February 2020. And though we have launched this service on two occasions before, today's announcement is particularly satisfying. When China Eastern Airlines flight MU-715 touched down at Brisbane Airport this morning, Queensland will be directly connected with our most valued international visitor market. And it's not only about visitation, it's not only about Chinese, uh, students, it's not only about tourists, it's also about the importance for trade and especially Queensland's exports that we're very, very pleased that this direct connection with Shanghai is back. Um, we will see uh, lots of travellers returning um, uh, back to Brisbane from China, um, especially leading up to the Lunar New Year. And that's very pleasing to see because we love to see our Chinese visitors visiting all the beautiful places um, here in Queensland. Today is a real turning point in the final stages of our international recovery at Brisbane Airport. With 90% of international capacity now forecasted to be back compared to pre-pandemic levels in December of this year. And we, will th we are thrilled to welcome China Eastern as the first Chinese Airlines back at Brisbane Airport. Initially they will operate three flights a week, but that will go into daily flights from December. And everyone here will work really hard together to make sure that we continue daily flights into the next year. This has been a true Team Queensland effort, with everyone collaborating to secure uh, the return of this service. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the partners for their support, including the Queensland Government through the Attraction Aviation Investment Fund, Tourism and Events Queensland, Brisbane Economic Development Agency and Experience Gold Coast, who are already actively marketing Queensland in China to drive demand for these flights. But most importantly, I would like to thank China Eastern Airlines, all the crew that's here, and John, uh, for their commitment to Brisbane and for their enduring partnership with Queensland. Welcome back.